Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the ZX Spectrum for some Fairlight, a prelude. A prelude to what you might ask? I don't know. I guess a sequel. They they did they did make Fairlight too at some point. Um, Fairlight is an isometric dungeon adventure on the ZX Spectrum, kind of in the the vein of Night Lore, but I think it came out a year after Night Lore, and it was quite a bit more advanced. So I'm kind of looking excited. I'm kind of looking forward to playing this. I'm so excited, I can't even speak right, you see? Um, I do really like this uh, this uh, opening image here. I mean, you know, the, the ZX Spectrum can only show a couple of colors at a time. It's kind of limited. But this still image is actually pretty impressive. They, figured, they, they worked all the colors in there, and uh, it looks quite nice, actually, I will say. Um, now... Uh, for ZX Spectrum games and also BBC Micro or BBC Acorn computers, I have I've come to notice this in my quest. They tend to have really weird controls, and I think it's a matter of those uh, these old systems had different keyboard layouts than the modern QWERTY system. But look at this: Y goes up and to the right, and H goes down and to the left. Q goes up and to the left. Q or T, I guess. And A goes down and to the right. Like, imagine doing that. Y and H and Q and A. I would get so confused. Um, space bars to jump. B or M. I've also noticed this, too, on the ZX Spectrum and the BBC Micro. They seem to always give you two keys to do things. So, like, Y will go up, but also P. You know, H will go down and to the left, but also enter if you, if you wanted for some reason. If enter felt better to use. I don't know. I have tried in the past playing these games legitimately on the keyboard, but it's just such a nightmare that I have mapped everything to a nice controller here. So I'm just going to be using the D-pad and uh, I basically have a Super Nintendo controller, a D-pad, and uh, I've mapped all the buttons so things will be nice and easy. So off to adventures. Now, in this game, you play as a guy named Isvar. That's the protagonist, as you can see here. I like how he's sporting an awesome looking 80s stash. Uh, and that, like, totally bland haircut. I mean, he looks like an 80s dad. You know, he doesn't really have that very imposing physique or anything like that. He's kind of an average-looking dude with a stash. Um, now, I think I screwed up on the first screen there, because if I can go back for just a moment. Um, there was a scroll right over here while I was busy talking to you guys, and the tornado destroyed it. So, um, I, I looked up a little bit what you're supposed to do in this game, but I stopped short of... Uh, examining a full walkthrough because I wanted to kind of, whoops, kind of explore this game together. So you can attack enemies. This is me fighting the enemy. I'm just ramming him into a wall. He is now dead, deceased. Notice that he, he has turned into a helmet. You can actually pick this up. And if you leave a helmet on a screen, enemies will respawn. So what you can do is pick up their helmets and take them to some other area where you want to sort of like leave them. Oh, uh, the game the game slows down a lot when there's other uh, guys on the screen, by the way. I'm just noticing that. It goes really fast when we're the only animated character. Oh, here's another dastardly evil enemy, a bubble. This comes, by the way, okay. So you have to drop the, the helmets of guys you've defeated in other rooms. Otherwise, they will respawn on you. Um, or respawn where you leave the helmet. But before I continue, this comes right from Wikipedia. This is a direct qu quote. During Isvar's exploration of the castle, he's accosted by its guards and monsters. Trolls, monks, guards, tornadoes, man-eating plants, and bubbles. Literally, it says, and bubbles, and then it says, etc. So, yeah, bubbles Bubbles are a big, uh, a big foe that this guy has to overcome. I've never heard of an enemy of, like, a, a video game protagonist who, you know... He had, he had to watch himself around bubbles because that, that was a problem. Um, all right, I'm going to drop that helmet right there. I'm going to pick this one up and drop it down there too. Now, if the tornado hits those, it will destroy them. Let's see if it does. Yes, all right, the tornado has permanently killed one of those orc dudes who uh, who I slaughtered. And uh, all right. Um, so yes, the protagonist here is Isvar, kind of an odd name. Um, I think this game was developed... Oh, there's another bad guy. Developed by a Swedish developer, if, if I'm uh, correct. 
Um, the, the story of this game is that you're on a quest for the Book of Light to escape the caves of Avars. So again, another sort of, uh, you know, slightly unusual name, I guess I would say. Um, oh, and you can just totally pick up a barrel. There's a way to, yes, we have an inventory. So we can pick up a bunch of barrels. Oh, it's too heavy to pick up more than one. Okay, let's pick up. Oh, I kicked the helmet. Oh, I kicked the helmet. Oh, it's too heavy to pick up a helmet. Okay. So in this game, you can pick up objects and stack them, and then you can uh, sort of jump on top of them. I guess I can't jump on top of a full barrel. Um, but you can do that to basically, um, you know, get to higher places in the map, which is pretty cool. So this is basically like night lore, but super advanced. So it's, it's easy to sort of take this kind of stuff for granted, I think, these days. But imagine back in 1985, you know, this is even really before Super Mario Brothers uh, really hit its stride in, in America. I think it was like 87 Mario really came out. Um, 85, I think Mario was out in Japan, but we didn't know about it in North America. But, I mean, like 87 to 89 is when people really got into Mario. Imagine if... Four years before you ever saw Super Mario Brothers, you could go on basically an isometric Legend of Zelda style adventure. You know, like that's that's pretty remarkable. Oh man, our health is totally going down here. Uh, you know, full disclosure, I am not going to beat this game today. I can already tell you, I am pretty bad at combat here. Um, oh, you can just hold down the combat. Oh yeah, look at that. He just sort of like lunges forward with his sword. All right, this is us fighting. <laughs> In fact, we'll move this way just to be safe. Okay, see that guy respawned. Okay, let's see if we can use our newfound fencing abilities to dispatch of him uh, more readily. See, look, he's just he's just randomly damaging me, and I'm dead. I just go straight to game over. It, it doesn't doesn't waste any time. It's like you're dead, you're done, and off we go. By Bo Jangborg. If you noticed on the opening title screen, it did say Bo and Borg, I think, on the left sides, left and right side of the pillars. Um, I do appreciate that this game, by the way, does give you all the buttons. Uh, th that's actually another really nice feature. Again, you take you can easily take it for granted these days, but I've played so many games from like the, the early to mid 80s or, or older, even some newer ones where they don't even tell you the buttons and you just kind of have to figure it out. I think they assume you had the manual. But it is so nice for it to be built into the game where you just start it up. You get a little reminder of all the buttons. I, I, I consider that uh, a well-designed game. All right, let's pick up this scroll this time. All right, we've got the scroll. Rather than going up through the castle, let's try going across the field here and uh, see what we can see. So even though I don't know where to go and I don't know what objects I'm trying to collect, there is a lot to explore here. So we're going to be able to see a lot of uh, a lot of random stuff in this castle, which is uh, always kind of fun. Uh, okay, so is there anything? Okay, we can't go that way. All right, I guess we've fully explored this field. If it were me, I would make this outer area green, but that's just me. I know it's a little crazy. Um, and so here's what I mean about the ZX Spectrum having like very limited uh, colors. You know, this is this is much more typical, where it's like either everything is yellow and black, everything is blue and black. You know, so when we saw that opening title screen where there was all the colors, like that actually is quite impressive for the ZX. We're just going to avoid combat. I think that's the best way to survive. Oh, a bubble fell on me. I lost 10 life. That was a dirty trick. Who leaves a bubble to just land on somebody when they least suspect it? A jerk, that's who. All right, we can grab, uh, I think we can grab these things. They're plants, potted plants. Oh, wait, switch. There we go. No, we can't. Okay, what is this thing in the middle then? It is some kind of elevator or door. Oh, I've fallen to my death. Um, how do I get out of here? Okay, I've seemed to fall. I fell in some kind of weird watery tomb. Is that it? Okay, well, let me let me reset here, I guess. All right, so the game is not without his problems, I'll give you that. But there you go. See Bo on the left side and Jack on the right side in those columns vertically uh, in the gray area. I believe that is the author sneaking his name into the game, um, although it is on the main title screen. So, all right, let's, let's see if we can do a little bit more exploration here. So this is the kind of game that uh, I could definitely see 
back in the day, you and, uh, you know, some friends would have to, like, sit around and, like, really try and, like, figure out, like, what is going on. Um, oh, you know, we could go actually higher. So when I went in this door and then I saw the same room, I just assumed that I was in the same room, but I don't think I am. Can I kill this bubble? No, the bubbles just take off 10 health no matter what. So I can go actually higher into the castle. These are different rooms. Yeah, look at this. Oh, and there's a barrel up here. All right, I guess uh, don't mind if I do. I'll just walk around carrying a barrel. Uh, is there anything up here, by the way? It looks like nothing, but it's hard to tell where there are doors. And no, I just fell. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I just took another 10 life from that bear, from that bubble. Okay, What what's going on in here then? Oh, that's where I came from. Okay, I gotcha. So we'll go in here. And then we'll go in here. All right, now we are out here. Now we fight the orc, the little imp. Oh, can we push him off? Oh, we pushed him off the ledge. Get wrecked, buddy. That tornado's coming for you. Look, he wants revenge. He's like, yo, son of a bitch. But we're not going to give him the chance for vengeance. We're off. Oh, that guy's still dead. Oh, no, he regenerates. Yeah, see, there's there's where the enemies regenerate. Did we go down here yet? I don't know. Let's Let's explore. Oh, look at this guy. He's an angry looking dude with a club who wants to, oh, he's hitting me with the club. Look at him. He had a weird face too. Oh God. I like the idea that when you kill the guards, you can pick up their helmet. Like, like the guards die, but then the guards are expecting to respawn, but you can pick up their helmet and you can take it to like another part of the castle or like lock it in a closet or something. And <laughs> I bet that confuses the guards hardcore when they do respawn. They're like looking around. They're like, did I die in this room? Like they just have no memory. Oh God, this guy wants some. All right, we're fighting him. It doesn't look like it, but I am fighting. I'm mashing that attack button. Okay, I, I don't think we were doing anything to him. Yeah, my life is slowly draining. We Nothing was really happening. Yeah, can we kill this guy? I don't think we can. Oh God, drop a barrel. Just drop a barrel and bolt. Oh God, the tornado got the barrel. Oh no, no, <laughs> we're dead. All right, uh, let's try this one more time here. This is gonna be a short video today. A short video as uh, it seems like no matter where we go, we end up dead. Um, and so I think you're supposed to get a couple of items initially, and then you get some kind of key, and then you can start opening up some of these locked doors. Again, I did not look up a walkthrough today, so I'm just playing it as if I bought this game from a store in 1985, you know, as a kid who owned a ZX Spectrum, let's say, and I'm just playing it like somebody who brought it home and is like, all right, what do we do? And I'm trying to figure it out as I go. Um, I like going through that process sometimes. I mean, as a kid, you know, the internet didn't exist. So you did not have walkthroughs. So if you owned a game, the only way to figure it out was to literally figure it out. You know, um, I think sometimes people, uh, when I play a game like this, where I think clearly looking up a walkthrough would help. And sometimes people are like, man, you should look up a walkthrough or like you should like study the instruction guide before you started to play for like tips and stuff. And it's like, yeah, maybe, may maybe I should be doing that. But it's just like not the way I played games as a kid. Um, and, oh, look at this. We found a new room. Um, I, li I like the sort of the experience of trying to figure games out. I mean, that's, that's just how I play games. It's how I've done it ever since the early days. And you know why I never really read the instructions? Um, it's because the instruction book was always like the first thing to get lost. You know, if you owned a video game, what's the first thing that goes missing? It's like the instruction book. It just gets torn up and ripped apart, and before you know it, it's gone. Um, and you're never going to see that thing again. So, yeah. Um, I, I do. I did uh, actually keep instruction booklets from some of my favorite games back in the day. So I still have, like, the original Fallout's instruction booklet and, like, uh, like a Mech Warrior instruction booklet and stuff. But, oh, you know what? We can actually use items. Okay, no, this does does nothing. Use object. Oh, I teleported. Whoa, it's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so if you have like, use this item. No, wait, use object. Use object, okay. 
Um, apparently you can use objects, and I just use that scroll to teleport. Messing around with the keys here. So see, I mean, I guess I should read the instructions, but those instructions are on the title screen, mind you. I didn't have to read it. No, I didn't have to go read no dang book to figure that out. The video game told me. Uh, damned if I know how to read, and damned if I'm going to start now. Uh, yeah. So, yes, you can confuse the guards hardcore by leaving their their uh, helmets in other rooms. I I think it'd be really funny to, like, kill a guard, then leave his helmet in, like, a locked closet, and then he wakes up, and he's like, oh, God, where am I? Why can't I see anything? Oh, God, somebody help me! And he's, like, clawing at the door. <laughs> be, like, some kind of, like, saw nightmare. Like, you're, you're the, the, the evil hero who kills villains and then, like, locks them in, like, uh, a room of their, their own worst fears or something like that. Um, what the hell just happened there? The, I think the other guy just died by walking into me. Uh, let's see what we got going on in here. Okay, nothing, nothing. Okay, here's, here's something I'm thinking of. Oh, God, oh, God. Okay, let's actually kill this guy. I can't seem to kill that wizard in the other room. But maybe I can drop... So I know you can drop plants and stuff and then climb on top of them. So let's see if this works. We'll drop one plant. Can we drop another one? Oh, he's like pushing me in. Get out of here. What what happened? Okay. And we can drop this one too. Life blocked. Can I jump on these things? I have not been able to jump on an object yet. Oh, what happened? I think I kind of jumped on it. Huh. I'm just like kicking it around. Oh my god. And things are so slow here. Also, it does not help that they have tornadoes here that want to like eat my objects. Okay, no, 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 you jerk. No, don't push my, my potted plant. I was trying to jump on that, you son of a beach. Oh god, I wish I could kill that guy. Okay, let's like lure him to get stuck right there. Okay, you are for all intents and purposes stuck. Damn it. All right, well, this room was a bust. All right, kill me. Fine, I'll, I'll let you have this one. All right. Uh, Isvar, the 1980s mustache rocking dad, is, ain't got time for that crap with that magician dude. Um, okay, we got. Well, let's go back to the room with the checker floor, the checkerboard floors where we did get the plants and see what else we can find. I think it's in here somewhere. Let's kill this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Prince of Persia, only far less sophisticated, far more basic. You just press buttons and lose life until the game decides that you're done killing. He's like, all right, all right. He's had enough. He's dead. You win. Take his helmet and be gone. Okay, let's try... I think it was this door over here. Um, ow, ow. Leave me alone! I want... I have no quarrel with you, random god. I'm here seeking the Book of Light. Ow, 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 ow. They're... <laughs> just running me into the wall. Leave me be! Okay, here we are. Wait, can I go in here? I forget. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, that just takes you outside to a world of pain. So what is in here? This is the checkerboard room. Yes. All right. So let's see what else is in this section of the castle. We found the plants last time and then kind of booked it out of here. Oh, what is that in there? See, there's like something on the other side of this table. I wonder if I can get in there. Um, no. I guess I need to drop objects in there and like slowly push them through until you push the thing through the other side. Oh god, look at this guy. Hey look, can we grab his jug of stuff? Alright, let's kill him first. Enough of this passivity crap. Uh, whoa, we pushed the whole table. Um, oh, and that thing is like, to that thing is clearly falling off. Okay. There's far more like physics based puzzles than I thought there would be here. Huh, how, how do I get this jar off the table? Maybe I can just pick it up. Wait, what? What happened? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, let's try and use it. Glug? Oh, it was life! Sweet. All right, so there are health items in this game. We just learned something. Can we pick up any of this stuff? Any of this stuff? Any of this stuff? Oh, hello. Oh, we can just... Can we use this? 
Ah, more life. Hey, we found health. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's jump on top of this stuff. W what am I standing on? Like baked goods? A series of intricately carved cakes? Anything up here? Nada. All right, the adventures of 80s dad continues. I feel like... Uh, <laughs> I just love that mustache. Like his face, he literally could just be like some dad from the 80s. I feel like I need some son who's trying to stay up too late. David, it's past your bedtime. I got to get to work at, at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Don't make me come down there. And he's just dressed in like the plainest shirt. The shirt is tucked into his pants with a belt. And he's wearing khaki pants. That is 80. That's 80s dad. All he needs is some really glasses with lenses that are too big and you've got every every 80s dad ever from every movie Ooh, look at this more stuff more stuff to heal me if i can get to it oh my god 80s dad is so confused get to it okay hold on i have an idea can we oh no oh there we go we got a plant okay here what we'll do so drop that plant there. We're gonna practice jumping on plants. There we go. There we go. And let's grab this one. There we go. Drop that one. Jump, jump. And more life. Cool. So this game, I thought it was gonna be like mostly combat, but I guess it's like a lot of uh, this sort of puzzle solving type stuff. Use. And use. Hey man, we got like 81 life. We have successfully almost gotten back to where we started in terms of health. I do not want anything to do with that guy. So I don't know how to kill the wizard dudes yet. That seems like a complex problem for right now. Hey, we have enough plants. Maybe we can uh, drop them all here and push them through. We're probably just going to lose all of our plants, but maybe this will work. So I push that one through like that. Then I'm going to drop this one. I feel like this is just a waste of good plants because the plants are really good for like helping me jump up on top of things. I just want to see if this could work though. Oh, almost. But we can't pick up. So once we drop that plant, we can't pick it up again. And we have limited objects to stuff in there. Okay, I'm going to stuff the scroll in there because I don't know if I actually need the scroll. It just teleported me to the beginning of the level, and frankly, I don't need that ability. I'm fine without it. Oh, let's wait till that tornado goes away, though. We don't want to, like, push that, that object right into the tornado. Kaboom! Oh, come on! So close. Wait, can I pick this up? Oh, I can. So I didn't even lose that. How about we throw the... Where's the helmet? Let's throw the helmet in there. I think I lose life whenever I touch it, but... Oh god, it doesn't go in there. Okay. Oh god. Okay, we just lost a bunch of life for no reason. All right, here goes the last plant. Why not? Let's do it. This one and <sighs> Oh no, it didn't it didn't do anything. It didn't go nearly far enough. Oh no. Oh, I should have had like a running start. Okay, well, here's my last object. Okay, here we go, guys. <sighs> yes. Yes, oh, the thing came out. Okay, let's go get it quick, quick. It's probably it's probably literally just like 10 health. It's like an apple. Okay, we got it. Use. Oh, we got full health, but we lost every single plant, which, again, those plants were actually really useful. All right, so I don't know if we came out ahead or not in this area. Whatever, we're leaving. We're moving on. Um, where was the area that had the, like, well that I fell in, stupidly? Somewhere around here. Okay, we haven't gone up this way. Or have we? Have we fought these guys? I don't even remember. I need, like, a pen, uh, a pen and a piece of paper to, like, draw out a map here. I'm going to try and avoid combat with these guys. Psych! Oh, God! Avoiding combat ended up squished between both of them. I'm being destroyed. Oh, God. All my newfound health is just gone. Die. All right, let's get the hell out of here before they respawn. Wow, that was a colossal mistake. Is this door locked? Oh, no, it's not. All right, what do we got? Ooh, we found their bed chambers. This is where all the monsters sleep. Oh, God. And this is where they come to kill me. 
Give me that bread. Oh, you get away from me. No back attacks. No teaming up, guys. It's unfair. You gotta be chivalrous about this. Guys, be responsible. Oh, he's pr he was pressing the tables together trying to crush me like Indiana Jones style. Hey, look, there's a key on top of that thing. Maybe if I could jump on top of... Oh, God, why is this guy dying? Let me pick this up. Too heavy to lift. If I could jump on top of these tables... Oh, hello. There we go. Can totally use this. Hey, he's helping me. Huh. Oh, we got... We're up here. Thanks, buddy. I could never have made it if it wasn't for you, evil golem. What is this? Why can't I pick it up? Yeah, there we go. We got a key. Sweet. All right, well, that's all that I need out of here. You've been most helpful. Psych! <laughs> I feel like a, uh, like a... Uh, uh, elaborate cat burglar or jewel thief. It's like he tried to attack me, but he really just let me exactly, he let me exactly where I needed to, to, to go. And then I robbed him. All right, hopefully this thing works on this door here. I think it does. I think this door was locked before. Oh, bubbles. Bubbles. Okay, we, we, we can't fight the bubbles. The bubbles are immune to swords. Man, we're getting a lot farther than, uh, than we did in any of the previous lives. Exploring this castle here. Oh, God. 35 life. I should have held on to some of those health items for dire times. Oh, what is this? Um, oh, did that thing try and attack me? Oh, yikes. Okay, I'm just going to try and avoid these things. Or not. I was trying to fight it. Oh, God. Oh, 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 it bit me to death. A dead died to a plant. All right. Well, this has been Fairlight for the ZX Spectrum. Uh, I think this is actually, a, you know, a, a pretty good game for the ZX, you know, back in the day. It's very ambitious, I will say. Um, I think you need a lot of practice with this to get good at it and to figure out where items are and stuff. And it is a little obscure what exactly you're supposed to be doing with items. So if you are going to check it out, it's probably worth it to take a good look at either the instruction manual or um, you could look at a walkthrough online to get a sense of like what items are you even looking for and what do you have to do with them ultimately. Um, I think honestly by the title of this game, I wasn't expecting much like Fairlight. Like what is what even is Fairlight and Fairlight colon a prelude? Like is it just me or have titles of video games kind of like, you know, in the same way that like video game gameplay has evolved, I think naming naming your video games has also improved a bit. Um, although I don't know, like, like Stardew Valley, is that like an enticing name, but it's a great game, you know, I don't know. But I was going to say that, uh, you know, like Fairlight seems fairly generic and it's unclear, you know, like if it was Chronicles of Fairlight or like the Legend of Fairlight or, you know, the Fairlight quests or something, it, you know, at least, at least put something in the title to make, make it clear this is some kind of adventure game, I think. Um, you know, but, uh, um, this was actually... Oh, <laughs> I jotted down one note about this game. I said one of the notable things about this game is it's one of the first games to have an interactive loading screen, whatever that means for the ZX. So um, I know a lot of a lot of times back in the day for ZX uh, games and Commodore games, when the games were loading, the game the system would just flash random colors on the screen so that you knew it wasn't frozen, but it didn't give you like a progress bar. Um, but I think this one does or something like that. So uh, there's all it's also got that going on for it. But, yeah, I mean, again, I wasn't expecting too much from this, but I think as far as ZX Spectrum games go, there is quite a bit here. Um, and so I'm, I'm a little impressed. On the flip side, this, you know, really is quite primitive by today's standards. I mean, if you are going to play an adventure game, um, this may be a little too basic for you. So what I would say is if you grew up with the ZX... Um, and you never heard of this game, never had a chance to try it. It is a, a pretty intriguing game. If, on the other hand, you know, the ZX was not your thing, or you're looking for a more elaborate adventure game, this game is going to be quite basic. So, um, it may be what you're looking for. It may be something that, that's sort of worth skipping. And, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, what do you guys think of uh, Fairlight here, though? It's, it is one of the games in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. Is it a game that you had back in the day? Did you play it? Can you get further than me? I mean, I think anyone could get further than me. It's not really that hard. 
Uh, but uh, yes, did you ever get further than me? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, whatever you think of the game, I hope you had some fun today. And I hope you learned a little something. Um, and that's it for me. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and we will uh, see you soon. Alrighty, guys. Peace. How's this guy not dying? Oh my god. <laughs> he died and I walked into his helmet and killed myself. I guess that's about right. <laughs>